Hey guys, welcome to chapter 6 of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. And in this chapter we are going to be doing everything pretty much in the Laneru Desert area, which is the next region of the game, and uh, before leading up to the next dungeon. However, this particular, this first video is going to be covering all sorts of things to do in the sky area. Uh, in particular, there are six goddess cubes that we unlocked basically in the Elden volcano region and uh, there are four of them four of the goddess treasures that we can actually get right now uh, I'm gonna be fast forwarding through a lot of the flying sections just because uh, it gets a rather I guess dull boring just the, the constant flying and uh, this video would be pretty much twice as long if it wasn't for my cutting so the first goddess treasure chest is just at Bamboo Island to the north. Fly on over, drop down, and get a gold rupee, which is worth 300 rupees. Um, I'm going to put some beacons where the other locations are, just so I remember where the islands are. It's a good way just to, you know, just to, so you don't forget yourself. I sort of failed miserably that first time, but uh, you have to land at the higher portion of this uh, island here and uh, just run on over and uh, open the goddess chest to get the silver rupee another hundred rupees in general I, I don't know the exact statistics but a lot of these goddess chests have rupees and uh, this is no this is not like uh, Twilight Princess rupees or Ocarina of Time rupees these are valuable rupees as there's a lot of things we can purchase at the bazaar the upgrades and uh, at Beetle's Air Shop that require lots of rupees. Uh, this particular goddess chest is a little tricky. Um, I didn't get this one my first playthrough because uh, I went to the other part of the island where there was a boulder you had to blow up, but the goddess chest wasn't activated. I was a bit confused. I didn't realize you can just climb down the vines over here and it sort of leads to this somewhat secretive place. But uh, your reward is the treasure medal, which is extremely valuable because this basically increases the drop rate of treasures from various enemies. So if you were like going through the waterfall cave earlier trying to get some jelly bobs or monster claws from Keys and Choo Choo, now once you have the treasure medal and as long as it's in your adventure pouch, these treasures will appear so much more frequently and this is a very valuable metal to hold in your adventure pouch pretty much at all times. Uh, in fact, I don't think I removed this particular metal until the very end of the game and uh, neither should you. Uh, this next location is all the way at the west end of the sky and uh, just fly on over and uh, go ahead and open the goddess treasure chest to get a small seed satchel and as I mentioned I believe in the previous or chapter 4 I didn't purchase a seed satchel from the item shop owner in the bazaar because I was going to get one in the uh, goddess treasure chest here now it's worth noting that you can go and upgrade this seed satchel at the bazaar if you'd like and it will allow you to, like, I think it's a medium seed satchel and a large seed, sh seed satchel and it basically allows you to hold more slingshot ammo if you'd like. Anyway, I'm gonna make my way over to the bazaar here and if you talk to the item shop teller now, he mentions that a small bomb bag is now for sale and uh, you know, this is actually a decent purchase if you'd like, because it allows you to hold more bombs, and we are going to be using them quite a bit in the Laneru region. If you really want to wait, you'll actually get a small bomb bag as a reward from a goddess treasure chest, but that's not until literally the very end of the game. Uh, I'm not sure why they waited so long to give you that particular reward, but um your best bet is to purchase one from the item shop teller and uh, of the various like item upgrades like this or the like, bomb bag and the slingshot app the bomb bag is the most valuable of them 
Anyway, I'm going to go head on over and speak to the item check teller, and I'm going to drop off my seed satchel and uh, pull out my my uh, banded shield. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the iron shield is not as effective in the Laneru region. Uh, the reason being is it does not handle electricity very well, and there's a lot of electricity, electric, I suppose to read the word, based enemies found within the La Nehru region. The wooden shield or banded shield, or even the braced shield, does handle this fine, and uh, thus you want to pull out your, your wooden shield. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my, uh, or not upgrade, but repair my uh, banded shield, because it took some damage earlier in the Skyview Temple and uh, I never got around to repairing it. So it's a good idea to repair it uh, just so that you're fully ready to go for the La Nehru region. <laughs> if you haven't upgraded your wooden shield to the banded shield already, you uh, definitely want to do that now because uh, it's not that costly. It's You just need some amber relics, some monster claws, and jelly blobs. And those are probably the three most common uh, treasures in the entire game. So. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem upgrading at least to the banded shield by now. Uh, we cannot upgrade to the braced shield yet as we will need tumbleweed treasures and uh, we those are only found in the La Nehru region so we obviously cannot get those. Uh, you could have also upgraded your um, seed satchel or your bomb bag if you purchase the bomb bag but uh, those are a little more costly in that they take a lot more treasure so you may or may not have those goodies with you anyway uh, my next stop is going to be at beetles air shop so just go ahead and uh, ring the bell and uh, climb up the rope to get to beetles air shop if you've been following along if you're beginning all the treasures and digging soft soil spots and uh, getting all the goddess treasures uh, you should have quite a bit of rupees uh, right now and uh, here at the shop I'm going to purchase an extra wallet another extra wallet there's a uh, three of them you can eventually purchase from here and uh, each of them cost 100 rupees they don't increase in cost at all unlike the adventure uh, slot pouch section things but um, you can hold up to 900 additional rupees which is uh, quite valuable uh, I'm also going to purchase the life metal here it's uh, pretty expensive as it costs uh, I believe 800 rupees yeah and uh, it's very valuable though this basically serves as a full heart container uh, whenever it is in your adventure pouch your your in overall health will increase by one full heart container. It's basically just like getting four pieces of heart or, you know, defeating a boss. Um, and uh, it's pretty unique that in this game that they had this instead of, like, you know, it, it's it's different than most Zelda games. Um, it's uh, sort of like, well, like, I guess like Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, they both had, uh, they didn't have pieces of heart, they just had heart containers. So I guess this is sort of similar to that. In a sense, uh, although not really. Uh, in general, there are there are 20 heart containers you can get overall in this game. You can you start with six. You can get uh, I believe 24 pieces of heart, which gives you six full heart containers. And then you can get uh, the rest of them from the bosses. And then you get two of these medals that increase your overall health. Anyway, that's pretty much it. We can do right now in terms of side quests so run on over to the statue of the goddess head inside and place the third tablet inside and this will create a cutscene opening up the next region of the game
and that's pretty much all we really have to do in this video uh, so our next journey is just gonna be jumping on our loft wing and flying over to the new beam of light in the sky which leads to the Laneru desert uh, there's really very little side quests that are triggered by the completion of the uh, by the completion of the earth temple in fact there's virtually nothing um, I, there's no new gratitude crystal quests that are now available. Uh, you could have done uh, Patrice and Peter's uh, side quest, basically talking to the girl at the item check uh, section over and over and then going to sleep and talking to her again and going to sleep and talking to her again. Uh, that's a little tedious to do right now. But uh, none of the other gratitude crystal side quests are available, at least not yet. Uh, they will become, uh, at least an additional one will become available after completing the uh, the next dungeon so uh, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video uh, join me for the next video and we are gonna jump inside the Laneru area and in particular we will be heading through the Laneru mine so uh, I'll see you guys then